Hello and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing of Pink and Main's June Crafty Courtyard box. This is a subscription kit and I subscribed for the first time last month and I wasn't too sure at the time if I would keep my subscription but when I saw the color palette and the theme of this month's kit I decided to keep it. I think the kit is called Vitamin C um, and here is the, let me double check, yeah. Um, this one's called Vitamin C, and this is the inspiration postcard that comes um, with the kit that tells you everything that comes inside and as well the color palette that um, they've selected for this kit. So this kit, one of the reasons why I kept it is because it comes with a lot. So you get a stencil, you get a set of dies, you get a stamp set. And you get an embossing folder. So this is a fantastic stash builder, especially if you're um, maybe just getting started and, and you haven't dabbled in stenciling or embossing or die cutting or stamping. You know, this has a little bit of everything. So let me go ahead and go through each of these one by one. So the stencil, um, the theme is sort of water tropical and it's not something that I have a lot of in my stash and so that is one of the reasons why I kept it because I figured it does fill a little bit of a hole in um, in my stash so the stencil has these really beautiful circular kind of uh, vignettes I guess that you could stamp out so this is uh, sort of like a wave pattern and this makes me think of tropics so I often see um, like a sunset scene you know sort of uh, stamped through here so you could do something like that and then it has a couple of different sea critters like the dolphin and um, the seahorse a seagull and palm tree and the sun or the moon and some clouds so really nice uh, stencil set there. The embossing folder is another reason why I kept this kit because I've wanted something similar to this in my stash. I just have never gotten around to, to picking one, but I really love um, this sort of swirly, it could be waves, it could be the wind, it could be any variety of things. And, um, and it's just a lovely pattern. And I love that this is a six by six embossing folder because ever since I started crafting with the Crafter's Companion box kits, um, because they always include six by six card blanks, I've been getting into making six by six cards, but even for USA two size cards, um, a six by six embossing folder is really, really nice because then you get a nice full edge to edge embossing of your panel because it will fit entirely within here. So uh, six by six embossing folders are always really nice and I'm starting to prefer uh, this size in my embossing folders because it can be used for both size cards. Then you get a stamp set that has a lot of really pretty silhouette um, uh, graphics that are sort of tropic themed or sea themed. Some of it underwater, some of it, you know, like your light tower and your palm trees would just fit really well on a beach scene. Um, but you get like a little school of fish, some coral reef, a little crab. Um, you can even have like a little sailboat silhouette in um, on the, your water in the background. So some really, really fun stamps. And they're all silhouette style stamps. So they're not, it's not an outline that you would color in, but rather a full, um, full, full stamped uh, image. So those are really nice. And then the dies, they don't, uh, coordinate to die cut out those silhouettes it's more complementary so they're just themed in a very similar way so you get the sunglasses and the sentiment is hello sunshine and um, you get some sea themed um, the seahorse and some seashells so really great die set then we get embellishments that perfectly match the um, color theme for this kit and what's really nice about the sequin pack is that you also get um, that sort of seashell in two different colors so kind of this gold color and more of an ivory color so 
that's really nice. And then um, sequins in, I think they're all the same size, just different different colors within the color palette. And of course, uh, these are really nice. The, the glitter enamel dots are really, really beautiful. And my favorite color in general is blue, but specifically teal. And I love that there's two teals so like a light and a dark teal I mean it's the other it's the third reason why I definitely wanted to keep this kit because it's it's speaking to me in so many ways um filling gaps in my stash but it's a color theme palette that I love and um you know it also has things that I've been wanting to get so so really nice um now in the uh, cardstock we get their ice rink this is 110 pound it's white it's smooth it would probably be really good for stamping and coloring we get a glitter card in um, blue then some um, basil cards so one in their texture card this is probably about 80 pound I would say um, and then these two are smooth they're not they don't have that texture to it, but they're thicker. I would say maybe 100, 110 pound for these two. And then these are embossed. They have a little bit of a polka dot design on them, which is really nice. And I would maybe say about 80 pound for those as well. Some of these are A4-ish because they have, um, I haven't measured, but they have the extra branding at the bottom. So. Um, I don't know if it's eight and a half by 11 plus the extra branding or if it's actual A4. And then with the pattern paper, we get um, six by six paper pad that has 24 sheets and they are double sided and it is a thicker, it's not thin paper weight. I would say it's kind of a thin cardstock weight, maybe a 60, 65 pound. And they are double sided. So you'll have um, two each of each sheet. So that actually allows you to use both the front and the back. So you don't have to decide between the two um, if you didn't want to. And of course, one of the things that I always appreciate about Pink and Main is that they give you a really, really nice variety of papers that um, kind of range. So they range from, you know, the scale of the pattern. So you get some things that are small scale like this. Um, this is really nice. It can be cut down into strips and used as um, border accents. This I would say is kind of a medium scale repeat. And what's nice is some of their papers come in different colorways. So you get the same design, but in three different color options, which is really nice. Um, and again, just to show you, you know, different patterns, but, you know, a different scale. So just depending on, um, you know, how you want to use it on your card or your project, you have different options there. And then you also get some basic, some basic patterns. So not necessarily graphics, you know, repeated, but like a nice stripe pattern or um, something like this. Uh, and what I really also appreciate is that if you don't like all the different colors, they always give you a variety that is more tone on tone, or in this case, you know, a single color uh, with just, you know, white print. So you get the sort of a random polka dot. And um, with some of these, there was an odd issue that I did see, you'll see it here, where it was miscut. It was only on a couple and so it's not a huge deal for me because most of the time I'm um, making USA two size cards. Oh, this one's actually not even the right size because you can see it just <laughs> falls short of the six by six. So a little little bit of um, quality control, I guess, with um, issues with this uh, paper pad. But um, as I was saying, it's not a huge deal for me because I generally make USA two size cards. So these would get trimmed down anyhow. But again, this is one of those um, where it's the same pattern, but in different colors. And I'm it just so happened that a lot of the uh, patterns I really like are in the colors that I love most. Like this um, pattern is one of my favorites and um, having it in the teals and blue is um, perfect for me because I love, I love those colors. And then this one we get in four different colorways. So, so really, really nice. 
And I happen to get an extra sheet. So, um, so I got a little bit of a bonus with this, uh, paper pad. So thank you, Pink and Main. Um, and also in my favorite color. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, that, that kind of more than makes up for just those couple of sheets that were a little bit, um, uh, cut off or cut incorrectly. But as I mentioned, you know, this kit comes with so much in terms of um, stash building uh, tools like the stencil, the embossing folder, stamp set, and die set. Um, but as well, just, uh, you know, the theme is really awesome, perfect for summertime. And for me, it takes a while to work through, you know, some of these embellishments. So even though the they're consumables. I almost consider them uh, stash builders because really everything, even the paper, it takes me a while to work through. So, um, so I really feel like these box kits are incredible value for money. So when um, I do have one project in mind for this kit, and so I might start off with that one. So when I have that one uh, ready, I will link to that video at the end of this one. Um, until then, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye.